Hello and welcome to episode eight of Grape Escapes by Cold Storage with me, Fiona Stevens, the beer, wine and spirits buyer. Now today's theme is wines to be enjoyed with friends. Now as we're entering into phase two and some of the restrictions have been lifted, I thought it'd be really nice to bring you some crowd pleasers that you can entertain safely with friends and family at home. So there's a few rules that will just help you stay on the right path to wines that are more sort of crowd pleasers. So you'll have a range of different palettes and we need to try and find something that's applicable to lots of people. So generally speaking, rosé sparkling is a really good option because it tends to be more sort of red fruit forward, a little bit softer. And then we've got unoaked whites, so crisp, refreshing whites generally tend to be more appealing to a wider audience than really oaky styles. And then um, when we go to reds, we're looking for medium to full bodied that are smooth, not too oaky, and generally speaking from a warmer climate, so we have that riper fruit profile. I hope you enjoy them. First on my list, I thought it was a good excuse for a bubbly, and I've got a great one from the New World. So this is from Adelaide Hills in South Australia, and this is from the producer Deviation Road, and this is their non-vintage Brute Rosé. Now, this is an absolutely fabulous style of wine, very, very approachable. Hamish and Kate Laurie, the couple behind this brand, set up the winery in 2001, and Kate had actually done all of her winemaking training over in Champagne in France, so obviously a region well known for their fabulous sparkling wines. They source fabulous grapes from the Lenswood and Piccadilly regions, so real premium grapes, and then they go through all the same processes as Champagne, so it's traditional method, and they rest it on its leaves for 15 months to give it lots of character and complexity and really gentle, lovely, sort of yeasty, bready sort of notes that we look for in quality sparkling wines. Now this is a Pinot Noir and Chardonnay blend and the Pinot brings really lovely Morello cherry and strawberry notes and a sort of softness, plushness to the wine. And then we've got Chardonnay in there that brings lovely finesse and some citrus character as well. This has got a really lively bubble, a really lovely long finish and just like I said before, that little touch of brioche that we're looking for. Now this is absolutely wonderful obviously by itself, but it's great with seafood and also if you've got sort of meat platters, sort of sharing platters that you might be having at this time. It's normally a very, very reasonable $49, but we've got it on offer for you at the moment for 42. And I urge you try this really lovely boutique sparkling wine from the Adelaide Hills. Second on my list is a Spanish classic and that's Alberino from the producer Pepe and this is from the Reyes Bacios region which is in northwest of Spain so it's got a really great sort of cool Atlantic climate so we get all of the ripeness and development of flavour but that sort of cooling sea influence makes sure that this has got a little bit of a refreshing zesty zip as well which is just what we're looking for. Now Alberino as a grape is really great because it's got loads and loads of fruit character so it's got lots of uh, ripe peach and melon notes but it's also got this sort of balance of of grapefruit so this really citrusy fresh finish and it's got a lovely little touch of sort of saline salty notes as well so it's a little bit mineral on the finish extremely versatile great alternative to Sauvignon Blanc so this is absolutely delicious with seafood it's also really great with creamy dishes and it cuts right through that creaminess now this is normally only $30 but we've got it on offer for you at the moment for 25 so there's absolutely no reason not to try this fabulous wine Last on my list is an Australian wine. It's from the Margaret River region. Robert Oatley is the producer and it's their signature series, Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. Now I went for Cabernet Sauvignon because it generally tends to be a bit of a crowd pleaser. Margaret River in particular is great because lots of people know it from Singapore because it's a relatively short flight to Perth and then a couple of hours down to that region. It's great because you get slightly more sort of elegant styles than you would do in the warmer regions of McLaren Vale and Barossa because it is warm but it's got that coastal influence so it gives it this great kind of fresh black currant notes and um, some black cherry in there as well and then we've got these delicious dark chocolate hints and also these wonderful little hints of um, black olive tapenade as well. On the finish we've got really fine grained tannins and also a really gentle touch of oak influence in terms of like spice and vanilla. This is really versatile, great with barbecue foods and it's also really good with sort of um, roasted vegetable dishes as well. Now James Halliday has awarded the winery five stars consecutively since 2013 and their director of winemaking Larry Cherubino is an absolute star and wins 
Wines Awards all the time. So it's a banker, you know you're gonna get a great wine here. It's absolutely fabulous price as well. So it's normally only $30, but we've got it on offer for you at the moment for 24. So this is a really great style of wine, really versatile, and I think you and your friends will enjoy it. Thank you for joining me again this week with my selection of wines to share with those all important friends and families that we've missed so much. I can hear those glasses clinking all over Singapore. I hope you enjoy the wines and I'll see you again next time. Mm.